So the first thing we're going to do is add in one ounce of fat-free cream cheese. I have my scale teared out, and let's just see where we are. Not quite enough there. And then what I'm going to do is after, there we go, one right on the dot. So I'm going to put this in the microwave now and just warm it up a little bit so that I can get it mixed before we put our one egg in the bowl. Okay, I've got that softened. So now I'm just going to add my egg in and get that mixed. I'm also going to add a little bit of egg whites because I like the egg whites a little bit better. I'm not, I don't, I'm not a real yolky person. All right. So I'm just going to add in a little under a quarter cup of egg whites. So I'm going to put about half in. So I guess that would be, I don't know, maybe two tablespoons. Okay, let's get that mixed through. Okay, next I'm going to add two tablespoons of almond flour. You can use any kind you want. This is just the one I had on hand. Always make sure you're not doing one that's rounded because that will throw everything off a wee bit and also increase your points accidentally and maybe you don't even realize it. Next thing we're going to do is add in one tablespoon of the Swerve Confectioners. This is the one that's like powdered sugar because I want this to be like a waffle. So I want it to be a little bit sweet. And some of you have mentioned when you make these chaffles that you feel like they're too eggy. Well, this one will not be too eggy at all because we're putting in the almond flour. So you don't have to worry about that. All right, I'm gonna get this all combined and then we'll start our chaffles. If you don't have one of these little mini waffle makers, I'll leave the link to this one down in the description box. I really like it because it's the perfect serving size for one. So I'm just spraying a little bit of, I can't believe it's not butter in there. You could use really whatever you want. You could use a little bit of olive oil. You could almost use nothing because it really doesn't stick. All right, let's get a little bit in there. I think this will make two or three. Don't overfill your chaffle maker because it will spill out everywhere if you do. Looks like I didn't mix quite enough, but that's okay. All right, we're gonna let this go for about two minutes. One more in there cooking now, but I wanted to show you guys. That'll be a really small one because it really made about two and a half. So with the sugar-free syrup and with the I can't believe it's not butter, that will come in at four points for both of the chaffles. So you could probably put a little less syrup than I did, but I like the syrup. Anyway, it smells just like a waffle to me. And I tasted the little one, and it definitely doesn't have that eggy taste if that's something you want to avoid. But these are really delicious. I would definitely suggest trying them.